Welcome to the show, Buzz, with our eye on what's new at the movies. This week, look for a chemical reaction between Matt Damon and Emily Blunt. This is your plan, and we're determined to keep it that way. You bumped into a woman this morning on the bus. Were you just staring at my legs? I was defenseless against the dress. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Your path through the world is supposed to have been adjusted. You weren't ever supposed to see her again. Damon is a New York congressman about to concede his run for Senate, and Blunt is a dancer hiding from the hotel security. Sparks fly when the two meet, but their budding romance leads them down a dangerous path in this Inception-esque sci-fi romance. Damon's a pro at going solo, so it's great to see him as one half of a smoldering duo in this quirky George Nolfi film that's really driven by the couple's fiery chemistry. Also out, Rango, an animated feature starring Johnny Depp as an ordinary chameleon who finds himself in extraordinary circumstances when he winds up in the town of Dirt. And Take Me Home Tonight, set over Labor Day weekend back in 1988, Topher Grace plays a down-and-out college grad who goes all out to finally win over his high school crush. Anna Faris also stars in this blast from the past with tunes that are sure to stick in your head. And look for CBS Films' Beastly, a play on the classic Beauty and the Beast. Alex Pettifer is a wealthy Manhattanite who scorns Mary-Kate Olsen. She casts a curse on him that only Vanessa Hudgens has the potential to break in this fantasy drama. And that's the buzz for now. For my complete review of the Adjustment Bureau and all your latest headlines, head to cbsnews.com. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.